I gotta write the number of uh, the place I park at every day I come here. I always fucking forget. What for around three? Hopefully I'll find my car. All right, what's up? <laughs> We're on the set for uh, Terra de Armand. Apparently I'm the director. Um, well, Terra de Armand, the documentary of Terra de Armand. It's not really a documentary. It's a neo-noir kind of reflexive piece. Here are the storyboards. It's one of them. Well, might as well just because <laughs> we got a DP that goes crazy. He's behind the camera right now. David, you want to say a couple words? We can. One day we had to come in and we. What is it? I guess it was the day that we were forced to make groups. I guess it was the day after treatments. Um, David Godbout was in Las Vegas <laughs> at the time, and um, we were putting groups together. So I sat down with Jason G. <laughs> <laughs> well. You know, I like to get naked. Shit, that's my thing. And um, Alex, what's Alex's last name? Hey, must be my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we sat down and we realized we all had similar treatments. Mine, I guess, was about a documentary filmmaker that takes under a former porn star, watched a porn star who was addicted to heroin under his wing. And I wanted to shoot in black and white. I wanted to kind of be this new noir field. Name's Fox Carmillos. Sort of a filmmaker. Documentaries mostly. Fox Carmillos is kind of a fucking downtrodden guy. Like, he's a filmmaker. Um, and, um, I guess I wrote myself a little bit into his character. And um, I have a tendency to go for damaged women. Um, not so much porn stars or prostitutes or any of that kind of shit. But um, when I was writing it, I was talking to this girl. I won't mention her name. And we were friends, you know, we hung out for a while. It was nothing too serious. And I just wrote kind of a story around her, like how I felt almost sorry for her. Like she was still doing drugs and a lot of shit. And I think part of me wanted to save her. And I, was, I figured if I can't save her in real life, I'll write this fucking fictitious story. A part of me screamed to save her from her situation. Yeah, that's true. Because the thing is, she's kind of the anti-femme fatale, but you assume she is until up to the end. Exactly. That's awesome. So yeah, that's says, a good point. My villains are always these like glasses suit, typical like cliche like villains. I'm not a bad guy, am I, Fox? I mean, <laughs> I haven't killed you yet. That's got to count for something. Even from the beginning, like I took the script to um, Richard. Uh, Richie read it, and he was like. I want to play Jimmy Diaz, and I was like, man, you'd fucking be perfect for the part, like... Tell me what she is. Tell me what she is. Tell me what she is. Go after the girl. Tell me what she is. Tell me what she is. Okay, got it, Batman. <laughs> That's why they didn't get there on time. Like, what the fuck did he say? <laughs> no. Oh, God. It's like, I don't know. I don't want to ask him again. <laughs> <laughs> My two biggest fears before even shooting were loading the camera and um unloading the camera. <laughs> and I guess unloading the camera, you know. I mean it's always rough, you know, the whole Murphy's Law thing, um whatever can go wrong will go wrong, which happened. Like I loaded the film perfectly today, alone. Happy as shit. But the thing was, it was funny because that was the only thing I had done in class was unload the camera, and it was easy enough, you know. Like then I go and I unload the film, like cocky as a mug, and next thing I know, it's unraveling in the center near the core. Couldn't put it back on, so it's like popping up a little bit. So wait, you're not supposed to touch the film too much, though, David. Next thing I know, the edges where I didn't tape down are just. So um, it's like the Germans fighting a two-front war. Like, I'm losing on both sides. I'm getting fucked. And next thing I know, I got a big fucking mess. Big knot in the bag. It was like... What the fuck am I supposed to do with this fucking knot? There's another knot. How the fuck did it... It was going so well. And then the shit just split. It just fucking broke. Like, I can't fucking believe it just did that. But it did. It was so bad. Oh, I was so bad, dude. I was so mad. I was losing my shit. Um, All I'm trying to do is get in the fucking bag. Get in the can. You know? And the shit breaks. Breaks on me. Why are you tied up? I didn't tie you in a knot. You're not a fucking shoestring. Demoralize the actors. 
Um, I think to the point where Richie was like... So, I'm just trying to fucking get drunk tonight, and I don't know about all these little fuck-ups in, like, the production stages. You know, I did my part. I never got my blue M&Ms. I never got my hookers or nothing. And I'm just trying to fucking party now, get my bitches and roll out, you know. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Thank you, Richie. I'm not an alcoholic. Wine. I don't drink it. Who is? Well, then don't fucking drink my wine. Bitch. No, I already had the whole thing planned out. Like, I was gonna get up, I was gonna walk over here. Should we tell them There's now gonna be a close up on me as I take off my sunglasses for the first time. Then I'm gonna get the crazy eyes and I'm gonna be like, <laughs> it's a goddamn shame that you got involved in all this. And it's gonna be like, <laughs> what's the last said? Hey, when you open when your you eyes, get to like, hell. you look like Tashiro Mifune in a fucking throat of blood. <laughs> I'll Seriously, I want to hear you try. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ready? Alright. I'm Fox. Okay. Alright. <sighs> okay, I know why you're here. Where's the Joker? No, come on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally saw it going. So I can't put my fingers on this, you think? Too much? Not too much, no. Your fingers are greasy, man. Well, it sucks, doesn't it? It sucks. How else am I supposed to roll this shit up? Thank you, Richard. I was gonna, I was gonna, you know, but it already fell off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have scratches on it. It's gonna be like a brackage film. <laughs> you wanna tape some leaves to it while we're here? Um, so yeah. So instead of this being a process that lasts five minutes, it's going to take five hours. I don't know what the point of that is, but I think I'm getting delirious. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, I've never I got on this shit. Oh yeah, you were overdoing shit too? Yeah. And I don't know. Shit happens though. Fear and loathing college park. <laughs> Emerged. <laughs> Steve. The new flesh. I merged with the bag. <laughs> I'll be wearing the film tomorrow. <laughs> That's crazy. We were about David Lee Roth That's impression. Shabu bow! Shabu bang wow! I get out! And nothing gets me down. I get wow wow with a budget. Oh wait, this is the middle. I'm doing all right, actually. Uh oh. I just realized because if the um the end I picked up was bent. Mrs. Griffin, you're bending it. <laughs> you're bending it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that joke. Yes, I uh, usually have Segway parking at these kind of conventions. I felt I, I felt the end that was bent. That's the middle. So if I get to a point where all this like unraveled shit is actually good, I can maybe pop it in and not be here. So long and go to bed. Hopefully our hitman didn't shit face Hold man. Hold on <laughs> to what we got. This is your theme music to get the shit uh, wrapped up right? <laughs> we uh, the I think literally that night blood, sweat, tears and um and yeah, and a lot of cigarettes went into that uh, unraveling that or putting that back together. I wasted a whole goddamn roll of fucking film because I didn't fucking take it out right. It was my fucking fault. Whatever fucking reason it fucking fell out, it's my fucking fault. Where the fuck is the fucking bag? I can't even tell what the fucking bag is now. There it is. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do. Get the trash bag. Lost sleep that night. It was a bad night in general, man. Like, you can shoot 24 fucking P on digital now. And yet, fucking, they still want to teach you this shit. Oh, because the aesthetic. Oh, because of the discipline. Oh, suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. The world is ending, and we're still using film. We're still using film. God damn it, dude. This is fucking shitty. Go get a goddamn trash bag. I'm sick of this shit. Put it through the zipper. Put it through the fucking airlock. Sick of this shit. I'm gonna put it in a fucking trash bag and make Color Lab deal with it. He had his hands in the bag for about three hours last night. Then I, we went home. Before. 
We went home at like one. Yeah, it might have been four because he didn't say he went to bed till three. Jesus. Got here around 10 a.m. He's just laying on the floor, arm still in the bag. <laughs> it, uh, it ripped three times. We managed to get the bulk of it into two canisters. Are you? I mean, are you planning on that it's going to be okay, or did you reshoot any of that stuff? Uh, we haven't reshot any of it yet, but we're we can't. We don't have the time to do it today. Uh, We've only got this guy till five, and we shot right. basically all of his close-ups and shit huh. yesterday. Jesus. Overall, that was the biggest problem, man. I mean, the next day. Um, it was a little chaotic, a little hectic. I think the morale of the crew and cast was a bit downtrodden, but we got a lot done. The next day, Saturday, was a long shoot. All right, <laughs> let's do this. What? I'm hungry. But fuck this shit, baby. <laughs> no frontal nudity? How, you know, how can I express myself if I can't pull out my cock and balls every now and then, right? Right, gentlemen? I mean, come yeah. on, yeah. <laughs> and it was a completely appropriate moment for a movie as well, you know. You work with every inch God gave you, man. Exactly, all fucking three of them. I mean, <laughs> 13 of them, I, I didn't get, no, I'm just kidding. It's like, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Damn, give me some skittles. Yes. Uh, we didn't yeah. fuck up this time, but I think we kind of managed to save the other role. It'll see that to be seen. Let's see if Color Lab... Sends us back some shit, and they're just like, you guys are fucking morons. <laughs> it worked out well. I mean, the footage fucking came back. Um, very Brackage-esque, which is, yeah. Like, literally handled the film by hand. Manipulated the film by hand. Not intentionally, granted. Hey, that looks good, David. Oh, God. David, that looks really good. That looks like film. David, that looks so <laughs> good. That is so fucking scratched up. Dude, that was all my uh, hard work in the bag. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually my work. Dude. <clears throat> I like how you listen to the headphones. Like you can I hear know. Like, <laughs> like I can hear. <laughs> we decided to do the reshoot. Um, we did it that next weekend. It was just me and David and our two actors, Richie and... Uh, Tawny, we were playing Fox, and uh, Jimmy Diaz, obviously. Yeah, we did it without a boom pole operator and whatever. It was fine. And no headphones either. The fucking headphones jacks keep getting lost. Anyway, reshoot went fine, um, which I'm thankful for. Probably costs, it costs us a little more money. Um, Another 200 bucks. 200? Now that's kind of interesting, thinking back at high school, at how like I used to even stress over the stupid little um, television production packages we had to do. But um, when I think about it now, even though my experience level, so to speak, has gone up, the stress remains the same. But um, as you get older, it's a with that experience, it's a matter of how you deal with that stress that's different. Sure I gotta find the beginning to this one now and roll this one up. Fuck, man! <laughs> You're an asshole for keeping that camera on, by the way, David. Fucking asshole. It's part of Doc filming. Yeah, it is. It's Tell Sean. Hey, Sean Wright, fuck you. <laughs> Asshole. Sean said there's going to be times when you want to put the camera down and give your subject a hug. <laughs> but you just got to keep rolling. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that I want to give you a hug or anything. But well, I'm trying to... tell Sean I'm going to take a doo-doo in the middle of his fucking class next week. And I don't have him as a teacher. I'm just joking, Sean. I love you. Your band's awesome, Sean. It really is. It's so cool to have cool professors. I don't want to do pickup shots for this shit. I really don't. I'm here! Alright, I'm easing this part in. A little slowly.
Done got shot. <laughs> Didn't know the girl was coming back. <laughs> Did not see this ending coming. <laughs> oh, it's okay though. He broke the coffee table. <laughs> Didn't mean that to happen. I'm not going to ask for any replication money. It's okay. We're just going to run off to Greece now. See y'all. <laughs> Bye. 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 That was fun. This goes out to Bob Mostow, Matt Bainbridge, Brian Plough, who else am I forgetting? Mrs. Green from uh, Paint Branch, too. Sean Wright. Sean Wright. Oh, Sean Wright. Your band rules, dude. I swear to God. I hope we play some shows. You can put that at the end of the credits, aren't you? And who else? Travis Holden. <laughs> Maybe. Or are you still rolling?